This video shows you how to get started with the DevExpress scheduler control for Xamarin Forms. You will begin with a simple blank project. Once you add code that generates doctor appointments, you will add a scheduler that displays these events. You'll also learn about a few basic settings that customize the scheduler view. Finally, you'll add an appointment editor UI to the application. Let's get started. This tutorial starts with a simple blank Xamarin Forms app that references DevExpress scheduler control. To find instructions on how to create such a starter app, navigate to the DevExpress documentation website and tap on Mobile. Find the Scheduler section and see the document titled Add Scheduler to Xamarin Forms Solution. Three files are of interest to us in this solution. The first file defines the data model and it contains two classes. The Medical Appointment class holds information about a single doctor's appointment. The Reception Desk Data class generates a random list of such appointments. Later in this tutorial, we will populate the scheduler control with this list. The second file contains the View Model class. The implementation is straightforward as the code simply holds an instance of the Reception Desk Data class and implements access to its key properties. Note that you can find all this code in the corresponding help topic on our website. In the documentation on Xamarin Form Scheduler, navigate to the Getting Started section. The third file is the content page that is empty right now. First, let's reference two namespaces, one for DevExpress Scheduler, and another is the local namespace where you define the view model. You can now add a work week view tag to the markup. To populate the view with data, reference the view model object. Add a binding context tag that points to the reception desk view model type. Once the binding context is established, add the data binding code to the work week view. This code indicates that the data comes from view models medical appointments property. It also maps appointment properties to proper fields in the DevExpress scheduler control. You can also copy all this code from the Getting Started section in our documentation. Run the application to see the results. Note a few things in this view. The scale on the left displays hourly and half an hour marks. All appointments snap to these half an hour intervals. On the top, you'll see days between Monday and Friday. You can also freely scroll the view up and down all the way to the midnight mark. Back in code, Let's add a few settings to the work week view tag. One setting excludes Thursdays from the list of workdays. A pair of options sets a custom work time and instructs the scheduler to limit the view to that time interval. The time scale is set to display 15 minute intervals and another option cancels the snap to scale functionality. Run the application to see the changes. The scale on the left is different, and appointments are no longer aligned to each other the way they were before. Note that Thursday is in fact missing from the view. The vertical scrolling is limited to the specified work time constraints. In the next step, we'll add an appointment editor UI to our project. In XAML, specify a handler for the tap event. Add a name attribute for the scheduler storage. This way you'll be able to reference it from the code behind. Switch to the code behind file that declares the event handler. Add a scheduler namespace reference. The handler code checks if a user tapped an existing appointment. If not, the appointment editor UI will allow users to create a new appointment. Otherwise, the edit form will display the tapped appointments data. As you can see in two methods declared under the event handler, you need to do two things in both cases. First, Create an appointment edit page with appropriate settings. Second, instruct the application to navigate to this dynamically created page. To make sure that navigation works properly, change the app file code bind. Replace the default page constructor code with a line that creates a navigation page shell. Once that's been done, run the application one final time. In the scheduler, tap on any appointment and review the built-in editor form. Note the navigation frame that allows you to drill down into settings and return to the scheduler view. This concludes our quick tutorial. We recommend that you also review our demo to learn about other capabilities available in our Xamarin Forms scheduler control. You can obtain the demo source from devexpress.com download manager or from our GitHub repository. 
To review the app on your mobile device, find the free download on the iOS App Store or in Google Play. As you can see, our demos illustrate different view types as well as reminder functionality. The day view gives users the most detailed view of events. You can also change the number of days displayed side by side. The month view, on the other hand, displays multiple weeks of data at once and thus gives you a big picture of upcoming and past events. We recommend that you review all available demos as well as our documentation to learn more about our scheduler control and all available display types. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.